Hey, how's it going, paisanos? It's the Super Mario Her Bros movie. We can't see it. Hey, here we go. Here's the movie. I finally got to buy this movie at Dollar General for 15 bucks, well, 16 bucks and something, 30 cents. I got to finally rewatch it once again. Just finally rented the movie like a few times at the library. I finally got to buy this movie for 16 bucks and 30 cents. And the front cover looks so cool. They even use that on the DVD and Blu ray. And the back of the cover says bonus feature. Getting to the cast. Going to the cast. Even leveling up. Making the Super Mario Bros. movie. Super Mario Bros. Greenfield. Here's Eric. Blah, 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 blah. Sung by. Now. Tamer Joy, which is the voice of Princess Peach. Plus, this movie's only like 92 minutes long. And what back of cover says 33 minutes, but nope. Plus, I got my Mario hat on just to finally talk about this movie. I mean, the last time I talked about a Super Mario Bros. movie was basically Bob Hoskins and. John Leguizamo's the live action one. I was gonna talk about the very first Super Mario Bros. movie, which came out in 1986. But I'm like, eh, I want to take a break from playing the Resident Evil 3 game and talk about the legendary video game hero we know and love that's been around since 1981. Which is actually true. Unfortunately, I am not gonna show um, scenes of the movie, so I won't get copyright on YouTube. But I don't know about the music. How is the music? It's done by Brian Taylor, and the Japanese one that did the soundtrack is basically. Now let me check again. I think his name is Tano or something Kino. I think the creator is Sagaro Yamoto. Yep, that's what it says. Written by Yumafu. The director that made this movie. Um All right, let me just go ahead and talk about the movie now. The Super Mario Bros. movie is pretty good. The film does begin with the main villain, Bowser, voiced by Jack Black, that takes the Power Star, and the Penguins try to fight back with, well, snow and ice. They were no match against Bowser's power fury of fire. His assistance. Kamek, voiced by Kevin Michael Richardson, which did a lot of voice acting since the 90s. And his evil assistant, the Blue Chow Koopa, which is the origin of the Blue Chow based off Mario Kart 64 that everybody uses in the game, and always wipes them out. Oh, I waited too long. I'm sorry, I can't play that. I don't watch the movie for yourself. Anyways, the movie does really begin with Mario and Luigi getting their first job of being plumbers, but it doesn't go as well as they seem to be. Also, there's like that bully named Spike, which is actually part of the Mario Bros. video game series, Wrecking Crew. A lot of hidden Easter eggs. 
I'm thinking Mario and Luigi are a bunch of jokesters. Until they find like a place called Mushroom Kingdom and an abandoned and plumbing subway. And they are fixing plumbing problem at Brooklyn. They find a warp pipe. And they end up in the Mushroom Kingdom. Well, basically Mario did, except for Luigi that ends up in Dark Land. And Bowser's Evil Kingdom. So it's up to Mario to save his brother. And she's up the main antagonist, Toad. Which is Princess Peach as a instance. And, um... A bunch of cute little toads live there. Beautiful place of Mushroom Kingdom. And at the time, it's Mario's side of a big huge challenge, which Princess Peach was very good at. Except for Mario, in the movie, he kind of dislikes mushrooms. And then, most likely, test his challenge of doing platforming and take on Bowser. Himself. Speaking of him, um, Bowser wants to use the Power Star to make him invisible. He wants to rule the Mushroom Kingdom forever and marry Princess Peach to a fairy tale wedding, which I find hilarious. For all that, and they want to get some help from. The main leader, which you see right there, Donkey Kong, to join him and take on Bowser's minions. And but Mario has to take him on and then fight the Donkey Kong, which does poorly, by the way. You can get a bunch of mushroom power ups. The right grow mushroom that makes him big, that one makes him tiny, that one gets him a cat suit. And then they get, well, cards to based on the powerful rainbow. Oh, but that's not go too well. And yet, and all that. Princess Peach still stands tall and brave and taking on Bowser that shows up in the Mushroom Kingdom. And the Mary to him to rule the kingdom forever. But in the end that Mario finally rescues his brother, Luigi, which I almost forgot he was a thing in this movie. He tries to make sure he doesn't know who he is, but fills it out by pulling on his mustache and keeps him as a prisoner throughout the whole entire movie. In the end of the film, they finally team up and go against Bowser and defeat him. Proving him that they are the greatest of them all. The music is pretty good and the animation is really great too. It's kind of, kind of a great film. I am glad to finally talk about this. That's why this film came out like a year ago and I got the t-shirt. It's, it's not based off the movie but based off the video game franchise. Not to mention that Mario's voiced by Chris Pine. But you best know him from the Jurassic World series. He most likely played Star Lord from the Guardians of the Galaxy series. So I'm not allowed to show scenes of the movie, so I don't want to get copyrighted by YouTube and all that stuff. Yada yada yada. I find the movie pretty passably good. And Luigi has a pretty good voice actor of 
Charlie Day. Which I swear that his voice kind of sounds like the voice of Panda from Rebear Bears a little bit. Donkey Kong has a pretty good voice actor too of Seth Rogen, which I know him from, well, Sausage Party and other movies he played the past 20 years. And Princess Peach does become like a total badass hero. It's gonna be in Damsel Distress since the 80s. The voice actor that plays her does a pretty good job playing her. Yeah, Tyler Joe. And, um, Jack Black does a pretty good voice of Bowser, too. Oh, he feels like he wants to become the role of playing the villain of the film. It's actually quite impressive. Um,. There's like a bit of hidden Easter eggs here and there. There's like Charles, you know, Net, which we already know that he been voicing Mario for a long time. Plays Mario's dad and Chirpinupi. It says a lot on there at the end credits. Spike gets voiced by Sebastian Rico. There's Uncle Tony, Randall Reno, Morando, John DiMaggio, which I know him as, well, pretty much every freaking movie he's in and other shows like Bender from Futurama, Scottman from Samurai Jack, blah, 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 blah. Well, you already know he did a lot of voice acting. Eric Bonanza, which is also on everything. Red Martin is basically the voice of Frankie Kong of We Are All Kongs. I would not say he's not the worst voice actor, but he tries his best to play Donkey Kong's grandfather. Which fun fact that people keep on saying that he was the first Kong from from the old Mario you know game of Donkey Kong Arcade 1981. But you have to look it up like everybody else does. Plus, there was like a few Yoshis that appeared in the cameo part of the movie. But everybody already talked about lots of hidden Easter eggs throughout this movie. There's like a Pikmin, well, resting, and a few. Other things of posters. There's a, there's like a like balloon, balloon man from Balloon Fight. There's like Punch Out, Kid Agarus, Duck Hunt, that grappling device thing, and the Bible Numbers. So enough to give too much away that you have to see the movie for yourself. It's actually pretty good. The voice actors actually did a pretty good job playing the main characters. Music is pretty great too, so um yeah. Also there's this little star that was from Super Mario Galaxy 1 and 2. I think his name is Oh wait. Luna is the one that looks like Prince Pink. Luma? Luma? Yeah, that's the one. I'm so glad I bought this movie last weeks ago. It's, it does have like minor problems on having the main antagonist finally get to do something less than 50 minutes in. But I don't usually talk about um, some movies based off video games, but someday I'll talk about Hitman very soon. So this movie is 
passably pretty good. It's not a terrible film. It's actually pretty good. It had like say an old 80s songs. Which I am not allowed to play. It seemed to be one of the greatest films out there in 2023 so far. I was going to talk about it last year, but I'm deciding I'll just wait a bit longer before I talk about this movie. Sure, I had like a few cameos here and there, but it's passively in the work for it. No right movie. It's like the movie we've been waiting for for a very long time. It's reasonably pretty nicely done. Everybody loves Mario since their childhood, since the 80s. I do remember Super Mario Bros. Also, NES game was my very first one I ever played. I'm not kidding, that was the first time I ever got into the Super Mario Bros. franchise. And we are waiting forever to have an animated movie. Which finally happened. And yes, I'm aware that they never did a live-action Super Mario Bros. 2 movie, except for Doug Walker, aka Channel Awesome, that did a parody of it. So it seems reasonably we were hoping into the future that Super, the new Super Mario Bros. movie, he too will get better. That will probably get Bowser Jr. or his grandchildren, the Koopalings, or have Mario and Waluigi become the main antagonists. We won't know in time until the film and um, sequel will come out very soon. And maybe someday I'll talk about Sonic 2, the movie, the live action one. And I know I'm aware that the third one's gonna come out in like two more months. Months. So the voice cast of the characters do a pretty good job playing them. Our design for the backgrounds are impressive, the music is still stupendous. I mean, those of you who are a huge Super Mario fan like I am, you'll find this one to be one of your favorite films to collect. It's a pretty <laughs> glorious film. If you love all your favorite characters from the video game franchise, you'll actually put this in your collection of greater films out there. Okay, I'm gonna start recording. And yes, I know Rumination owns it too in Universal. Blah 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 blah. I gotta go and finish my artwork. Thank you all for listening. And no, I will not do the Speak of All Me franchise movie, so not gonna happen. We're getting tired of these films already. Okay, one more before I end it off. To quote Mario and ending his game. Thank you so much for playing my game. <laughs>